welcome to global defense. Russia recently carried out its most extensive air assault on Ukraine, demonstrating that despite suffering heavy losses, the Russian Black Sea Fleet remains a potent threat. On Monday, Russia launched an enormous barrage against Ukraine, targeting key infrastructure and various sites across the country. This assault involved hundreds of missiles and drones, marking what Ukraine described as the largest aerial bombardment since the start of the conflict. Ukraine's Air Force reported detecting 127 missiles launched by Russian aircraft, ground forces, and warships, along with an additional 109 drones. Despite the overwhelming scale of the attack, Ukraine successfully intercepted and destroyed a significant portion of these threats, taking down 102 missiles and 99 drones. Nevertheless, the attack resulted in tragic consequences, with at least seven people killed and many others injured. A key component of this assault was the involvement of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, which fired 28 caliber cruise missiles from naval vessels located in the eastern part of the Black Sea. These missiles were launched from both surface warships and submarines, highlighting the fleet's enduring ability to conduct large-scale military operations despite the heavy damage it has sustained throughout the war. Ukraine has claimed that it has inflicted substantial losses on the Black Sea Fleet, sinking, damaging, or destroying at least a third of its vessels. This achievement is particularly notable given that Ukraine lacks a conventional navy. Instead, Ukrainian forces have relied on innovative tactics, utilizing domestically produced naval drones and anti-ship missiles to conduct asymmetrical warfare. These efforts have forced the Black Sea Fleet to disperse from its headquarters in Crimea and relocate to the eastern Black Sea region, closer to Russia. Despite these challenges, the Black Sea Fleet remains a formidable presence in the region. Ukrainian military sources have confirmed that Russia continues to maintain a significant naval presence, including a combination of missile carriers, submarines, and patrol ships. Just a few weeks ago, several Russian cruise missile submarines were spotted in the broader Black Sea area, indicating that the fleet remains active and dangerous. In response to this latest attack, Lieutenant Jenner Mykola Olishchuk, the commander of Ukraine's Air Force, emphasized the use of all available resources to repel the assault. The Ukrainian Defense Forces employed aviation, anti-aircraft missile systems, mobile fire groups, and electronic warfare units to defend against the attack. The U.S. has reaffirmed its commitment to supporting Ukraine's air defense capabilities, with John Kirby, a spokesperson for the White House National Security Council, praising Ukraine's performance during the attack. Thank you for listening to Global Defense. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share this with others.